Linda, when one is diagnosed with arthritis, how does that affect the relationship dynamics in a household? Um, you mean when, when a mother or a woman is diagnosed? Yeah. Okay. So, um, the mothers that I see in clinical practice and the mothers that I studied for my um, master's thesis, um, something that happens is that there is often pain and fatigue associated with, um, with arthritis and those interfere with mothers doing the roles that they would typically choose to do or want to do or expected to do. So um, mothers often said that they battled with the same issues that anyone would um, take on in terms of being able to do those things and certainly within a marriage and a partnership. Um, the, the things that are faced with partnerships and marriages with a couple with arthritis is much like anyone else. However, there's an added dimension of, um, of stress sometimes and an added dimension of um, needing support and having a spouse or partner understand what it feels like to have the arthritis and how that affects their daily lives. Now, some partners were really great. The mothers reported at understanding and providing um, okay, I'll drive the kids to brownies, I'll drive the kids to soccer, um, coming home in the middle of the day sometimes when things were just not going well, um, providing emotional support and um, learning about arthritis. And then some mothers reported that they had challenges talking to their partners about how they felt and what it meant to have arthritis when they were uh, mothering and parenting and, and working part-time, some of them. So, although couples experience the same stresses as I would in my partnership, uh, in my marriage, there's an additional layer of stress and complexity um, brought on by arthritis.